Hey Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 3.4 number 69, and this is when we were asked to find g of f of 3. And when they put that open circle like that, it's really saying g of f of 3. So the first thing I want to do is I want to start at this innermost point here, or the innermost parentheses, and keeping my, keep in mind that that very inner parentheses, that's going to tell you your x-coordinate. All right, so I need to go to an x-coordinate of 3, but I need to be on the f function because I want f of 3. So if I look at f of 3, how I would read this here is I would say that f of 3 is equal to negative 1. So this, I'm going to use a long arrow just to get around the words x-coordinate. This is going to turn into g of negative 1. And that's, again, because f of, negative, excuse me, f of 3 is negative 1. Right, so since these two things are equal, instead of writing f of 3, I can just write negative 1. So now that I've gone through one iteration, this is now my new x-coordinate that I'm interested in. So I'm going to go into this column here, but I don't want the f function anymore. That says g, so let me go on the g function and look at the y value there. So this is going to be 0, and that's how I'm getting this string here. So again, f of 3 became negative 1. Right? And then we look at g of negative 1 is actually 0. All right, So that's how you handle those kind of table problems with the composition of functions. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.